Uh, hello, welcome back to End of Fate 2. And for some reason, okay, my my controller was working, but never mind that. Uh, maybe maybe we'll go endless today. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Ah, let's go for endless. Why not? Maybe we'll unlock something. Let's pick. Um, I will unlock his adventure, okay? The game we play is no longer bound by time. No, it stretches forth into eternity. Or at least until your death. I think that's more possible. Now it begins. You'll find the rules have changed. You'll need to be prepared to face whatever fate presents you. Adventure beckons. You set foot upon the open world and begin your journey into the unknown. Ten reduces over time. Weapon damage and equipment defense degrade from use in combat. While your max life is greater than 100, damage in combat may reduce your max life. Walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you with your journey? Supplies. This should sustain you for a few days, she says, squinting at you with tired eyes. Thank you. You arrive at the capital on a fine sunny morning. Miling among the crowd of citizens, regards traders and cutthroats at the city, stirs to life. You wander, you wander the streets and taverns in search of news or rumors of adventures. This and card glory. will determine the enemy you face at the conclusion of this section. Defeat them, and you will begin another, and oh, so okay. on into infinity. This adventure ends with a combat against powerful thieves. Expect to encounter their kind on your journey. For success, gain 12 food. For failure, there's no death. A band of thieves has settled in the remote village of Hans Weasel. The local imperial garrison is assumed dead and you have accepted the task of dealing with the villains. Would you like to make your life more difficult? No but doubt, uh, your history suggests this would not be the first time. Okay, I would like this. At the end of the current adventure, face the challenging chance cards, okay, and it's got two artifacts at the end of the current adventure to succeed. Failure for failure is 18 food. Thank you very much. No, 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 I'm not gonna... Let's take that. the battle to the darkness itself. Drunken tales in the shipyard tavern speak of the Eternal Liberator, an imperial warship once laden with treasures now perched precociously in the rocks below the cliffs of oblivion. Many a daring or foolish soul have already perished trying to reach it. You decide to join you there and see for yourself. A band of farmers from the village of Brackenwick, having never before set foot in a capital city, are looking for someone to attend the spring markets and negotiate on their behalf. You agree to speak at the traders gathering to his hands. Look over supplies and maps in preparation. Select the cards you need to defeat the enemy ahead. The deeper oh, you go, oh, oh. the more chances you will have to revisit your choices. Mm. Wait for that, I need shadows. So I'll take this green sword, solving this one and this one. The choices have been made. And now the adventure begins. Yep. Yep. Accept the duel. I wonder how many times we need to win with him. Maybe we'll win enough today to unlock this shark. I wonder which weapon I have equipped. Very drunk. Yes, very drunk. Can we fight with you? Nope. Work with once. Oh 
or maybe I need to deal him some set, set amount of damage over time. Enough! I don't have time for this nonsense. Yeah, of course. Treacherous wilds, oh, of course. You old hag! <laughs> well, I guess she's not old. Now is your chance. Resolve these as soon as you can. Yes, I know you don't have to show me this. You should be more careful given the price on your head. Oh, I will swap for for that blades then. A pair of shady hack characters emerge from the shadows to block your path. The Empire is offering a pretty price for your head, adventurer. One of the of the men remarks while casually inspecting his blade. Nothing personal, the other adds as they advance towards you. Of course it's nothing personal. It's never personal. If it was personal, then it wouldn't be just the couple of you. Five, I think. Maybe seven. It would be much more. Where are you? you look, oh, I'll six. Many at once. Oh. Okay, that got him. Really, he's not dead. Okay, no, he's dead. Is coming here as the din of battle fades. You spend a little time searching the phone before leaving this script. Yes. No better way to enforce justice than force. All law follows from might. As you turn the lung in your <coughs> cross drawn carriage, you catch a glimpse of some cheeky mom dealing with your weapon. You chase them on foot until they dive in the barrel. You take a peek into the hidey hole and discover they have quite a cache. Of weapons in the lair, reach your arm into the hole. <laughs> oh, my. oh, fuck. Yes. Don't hurt us! They cry. They hand you back your stone item. The little round door slams shut as you throw the weapon from the barrel. Matched blades built to enforce justice. You hear some plates crashing behind the door. Who let this come in here? Okay, I'll no lightly on the small door and I'm opens it without thinking. God damn it. <laughs> With a sharp sting, you snap your hand out of the ball and the door round door shut slams in your face. Okay. <laughs> mm, I wonder which one is it. It feels like there's someone in here. You grab hold of a pair of pointed boots and tag, unearthing a short, stumpy torso attached to the grinning head of a goblin. Hello, I'm Fiobi the Earthman. What's your name? Why does your face look like that? Have you seen my horn? If I don't find the ingrained worm, will eat the roll. Startled, you lose your grip on the goblin. He lands flat on his back with a strangely heavy thump that leaps on his feet, unperturbed. Though his face is creased and wrinkled, he seems much younger than the zombies we've met before. He dusts off his waistcoat and places a rough hand in yours. If you help me find my heart, then I can help you. Hubby grips your hand and Let's be friends forever, he says. <laughs> you suppose there's room in your party for him, even if there wasn't. The young goblin was attached to himself to quite a family. A goblin? And we're <laughs> still a young goblin. Let us hope this is the last we see of him. Oh, goblins, of course, and they're probably gonna steal my 
clubs. There's nothing else I have. I'm not oh, you can steal hubby. Or Hubby. Yep, of course this. Oh my. By sea and sock, fate and fame. Nope. Yep, I screw that. Where is he? Death. Oh my god. I used it. I used this. I, oh my god. I, once again, for some reason she won't. Give me some food, please. No, oh, I was nice as well. Simply the middle road. Food? Take careful stock of your resources. You must consider every decision ahead of you. Sure. At least the usurper put up the illusion of honor. It's hard to tell if you even have an inkling of the same concerns. You find Merrick sitting in the shade of a precarious boulder at the edge of a ravine. Just in time, he says, standing up and dusting off his hands. A procession of trade caravans and carriages make it, makes its way to the great city, carrying wares from distant lands. You crawl to the edge of the ravine and peer over the crest. Okay. I am not normally one to create a scene. But time is of the essence. We must find the caravan of a particular cartographer, Eric explains. I mark his possessions the map of, map of the Great Sand. Find it for me. If you happen upon anything else of value, you can keep it. Just bring me that map. With a great heave, you dislodge a large boulder, sending it crashing down the slope to block the carriage's path. The driver of the first carriage sounds an alarm, blowing a great horn in an attempt to notify any patrolling empire guards. The sound echoes through the gorge. With the rest of the procession in disarray, you quickly descend into the valley and approach the first caravan. I am not a vain man. Yes, you are. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Amidst the chaos, you find a wake that my has described. As the cartographer attempts to temper the horses to sneak abroad and rifle through his papers and parchments. Tucked under a bottle of ale and a glittering silver ornament, you find it. The map of the Great Sands. You swing the sink over his shoulder and exit the carriage. Let's write another one. I need some food. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I, own, I only want some food. Excellent. A Please. wise decision. The merchant, still reeling from the shock of your ambush and with Imperial soldiers fast approaching, you make your escape. Away from the chaos to check your spells before continuing on your journey. You find Merrick waiting where you left him. His eyes grow wide at the sight of the map and with a flourish he disappears beneath his glow. Tell no one of this, he says with a smile. Meet me at the edge of the sands in three nights time. Not too late to plan better. Beside the end of the quest. Uh, give me a second. I don't want to see. Consider what you need to progress here, and leave behind anything you can do without. While hiking along a mountain path, you pass an old farmer weighted down with a heavy sack. You slow your pace to walk with him for a while. 
In ancient times, my people had a great empire, Yorvers, as he continues slowly up the path. It's, it stretched all the way to the Misty Sea. In those days, our clerics would sacrifice precious jewels and find them for the weapons that pleased the gods. Much has changed since then, you can see. He gestures to a tiny collection of rundown shacks in the valley below. Few of us keeps, keep to the old traditions and we have precious little to give, but every year we give what we can. Perhaps one day our fortunes will change, or not. But what else can we do? His laughter gives way to a coughing fit. He points to the top of the mountain and says, perhaps up there your fate may change also. Hours later you stand at the top of the mountain and discover a vast crater that falls away into shadow. You approach the edge of the pit and gaze into unending darkness below. A stone outcropping extends out over the center of the abyss. And at this point... No, 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 no. You make your way down the mountainside away from the ominous chasm. Alchemy is not yes. chemistry. Alchemist. The formulations ah. are merely a receptacle for the powers involved. Every alchemist has at least a touch of the mage about them. Um, I think what do I want to go? Maybe the red one. I don't know what actually. Let's see what the wheel has to say. Yes, I'm always thinking about colors. Are contained by the pickles. Make your hand warm to the pecan, it is always set the red oaks are intensifies. Excellent! Okay, so we want the same colors. Yes! I'm fine, Mal, thank you. As you add the red feathers, the mixture grows an intense red light me up the wind. Eureka! The alchemist's eyes grow wide with excitement. The fabled elixir of life! He eagerly dips a large ladle into the glowing liquid and holds it down to him. Here, drink it! Okay, thank you. The red liquid is sweet like honey and warm like sunshine, refreshing as a seaside breeze. You hear the sound of girls and children laughing, and for a moment your troubles are abolished. Your mind clears and you find a new whole strength and hardiness about you. Well you. done! Alchemist thanks you profusely for your assistance before returning to his ledger to make more notes. Okay, well, that's it. Wait, wait, okay. Uh, what do I need to do? Defeat 15 thieves with a finisher. Okay. The town of Hans Weasel is quiet as you walk among the houses. Frightened faces vanish from the windows as you glance in that direction. In the center of the village, you discover the fate of the local Imperial Garrison. As you move to free them from their bones, a pack of deadly cut throats surround you. Seriously? Yeah. Another employee lucky here to do their daily work? The boiler, broiler it inquires. The Emperor couldn't even be bothered to send any more of his own soldiers. Times must be tough. Game lights! Oh, there's four of you. I thought there's two. But they are only anarchists, so not too threatening. The boiler. When a handful of coins can buy a knife in the dark, good folks, folks suffer. Anarchists throw flaming bombs. Yes, I know. I hope this works. More than that, they also breathe fire. Oh, that was nice! I really like that, I must admit. But like I said, not very threatening. I might get used to this kind of weapon. If the ruffians dealt with the people of Hans Weasel emerge from their homes, thank you. Hey, 
If your main quest complete, you turn your attention to other tasks. You arrive at the cliffs of oblivion and risk a peek over the edge. A sizable imperial vessel has indeed dashed against the rocks below. Reaching it won't be easy, escaping the mood will be even more difficult. With little more than a rope and a prayer to the ancient gods, you make your way down the cliffs of oblivion to the marooned ship. Okay, what do I want? Fine, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to get. Just a success? With skill and daring, you make your way back to Solid Land in a le less treacherous well done. Okay, what was it? You arrive at the gathering of traders to negotiate the selling of produce from the village of Birkenwick. After the negotiations, you discuss the prices you secured with the farmers. Is it content with your results? I did not think you had that one in you. Of course you didn't. Return to the capital in search of more adventure. What adventure will fate hold for Ooh. you? Maybe not the nurse. And you know, yeah. I'm going to go for not the nurse. There are rumors of a band of elite northerner warriors hidden somewhere in the city. They plan to wreak terrible vengeance upon the populace in this Response to the violence brought upon their people. We joined the quest to find and deal with the fearsome group. This is a good time to add trials before time has passed yeah. and things have become more difficult. Okay, no. The enemies of the frozen north hold firm. Will you? A noble patron of the arts has commissioned an artist to create a map of the empire. You agree to help him scout the valleys, forests, and fields as you complete your adventure. A fair maiden by the name of Valeria Hiroshit has been kidnapped by a vicious band of pirates who demand a payment in gold. You set out to meet them in a remote As you room. descend, your decisions here will become your lifeblood. Hmm, this, maybe for the goblin, Berserk the Creed, and Ingo Food, maybe? Eat less. Oh, I mean, food. <laughs> We are against Northerners, do not reveal, and Winter's Bane. Congratulations! You. you have not fallen at the first hurdle. Now your decisions become more pressing. Oh, thank you. Oh, no thank you. I don't have enough gold. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. Can I go you back and buy that sword? When the hero runs in, the villain takes their time to bait their trap. I... Be careful, lest they put you in your place. I didn't change weapon. So now we are fighting against Northerners with blades. Billy Crabs. Mm. Yeah. These twine clubs have been set in for a task for a century now. By sea and shock, fainted yeah. Okay. That damn it! How many times are you gonna try and hit me? Oh, it's a half bath, I just can I just can Oh hit them back. I definitely hit the right trigger. I maybe I use the mapper my control C on the screen whenever I'm really hitting right buttons on that. Spots. Oh my god. Damn it. We were in such a good state. Gold plates.
the Vampire Arm asks the Empire Six Messengers to join the battle against corruption, but I already did it. Okay, I will. God damn it! <laughs> Again, really? It's just that I forgot it about it instantly. The fight finishes. What was I supposed to do? Ah, let me go. Yes, you better. Yeah. Let's die already. Really? Yeah. That kind of I will change the weapon to sword now. Yeah. I will. Thank you. Thank you. While crossing the desert, the ground begins to tremble beneath your feet. A monstrous, sealed head slithers out from the sand, followed by a long, shimmering body, a serpent of a terrible size. If you strain, you swear you can hear a faint melody being plucked out on the loop. The creature stretches languidly and, and tries to seal. The legends of old spirit on the serpent drone, staring with three unblinking red eyes. How cheap is thy duty and a persuaded or art? The serpent blinks impassively, then with a hiss it slides away, the spoon quickly into the sands. When you wake, the serpent is gone. You sure attract some old suitors, coin slave. Malcrabs notes brushing sands off his head. Let's buy some new money. Yep. Maybe we'll find some. Leave. <laughs> Not yet. I can go hard to it. Starvation uh, has no. been the end of many adventurers. Finish him. Goblins, they lead to naught but trouble. Were it in my hands, I would never deal with them. Yeah, of course. You spy a goblin, half hidden in a copse of trees, counting their gold weight in down his sack. Startled by your presence, he breathes a hasty retreat through a magical portal. Let's follow him. The tall mark helps to step behind before pursuing the goblin through the portal. I can. Huh. Maybe old school, but food is my number one priority. Wait, where was it? Over here, okay. A lot on the other side. Boy, oh, I knew it was gonna be probably. Oops. 
there's another one over here. No, oh my god. Really? Ah, okay. Okay, okay, I hold. You exit through the glowing door to find yourself in more of or, or, or less the same place as before. Lava cliffs waves at you from a few steps away, surprised and bemused. The crunch of leaves under the trace the goblin running further into the forest. I will follow him. If you follow him, he may lead you to the goblin treasure hordes of legend. The goblin turns to see a still in pursuit. He shouts in his ministry, and link him and the mournful blare of his horn echoes through the forest. Another portal yawns before you, the goblin knows inside. I'm jumping in. Maybe, maybe we'll find some more food. Oh, there's some food. Okay, never mind. Okay, I can go to the other side. I just don't want to. Oh, that hurt me. Me personally. You find yourself face down in a pile of leaves, being shaken awake by Malaclips. Slightly dazed, you hear the jungle of coins in the distance. I'm gonna get you. Don't get me wrong, I have to <laughs> finish what I started. You catch up the, to the goblin just as he leaps into another portal! His face contorts into a look of irritated disbelief as your eyes meet. Jump in! As long as I see him jump into the very same portal, I'm fine. Is it, is it me or is it getting bigger? Is there some more gold? That's oh, some days. So that is my that is super. On this side. Okay. I 
can't really turn the camera. Oh, I can turn it the other way. I think that's it. I'm glad that I can turn the camera at all. The portal deposits you directly in the path of an oblivious mother, pulling him over. As you pick yourself up off the ground, you spy the elusive goblin escaping over a hill. I'll get him. Here's a Pan token for you, if you can. Oh, finally! Panting, the goblin blows his horn, producing a weak wheeze. Curse you! Leave me, pig! Wearily, he has his gold sack into the portal before tumbling after. I'll follow him. There's no way I'm leaving him me. Oh my god. Okay, it's not timed. I'm glad about that. But the, wait, there's more and more traps. That was good. Tempo. Oh, you can just go through something. Alright, of course I don't have good tempo, so I'm getting hurt constantly. One and there's no green. Is there anything on I this side? I don't think so. That is it. This is the last one. Hopefully, uh, no. Hopefully, <laughs> this is it. This is how we earn the last the token. When you emerge from the portal, you find yourself in a luxurious sitting room. Green lanterns cast uneasy shadows on the walls. Lying exhausted on a woven rack in the center of the room is a goblin. He sizes your appearance. My, <laughs> you're persistent. I'd offer you some mercy if you hadn't presumed you relentlessly in barge and welcome to my home. Am I? His face cracks into a mischievous grin. You're a goblin town human. Where the sky is made of stone and the rose lizard is the best in the empire. Gestures at the window and you draw open. You draw your draw drops. The sky is indeed made of stone. The city waiting beyond has been carved into a vast cavern. The street below is host to a market lit by the uneasy green lanterns. Goblins and hooded figures pursue the wares, giving white birth to giant wooden like beasts of burden. You swear you, you see a lone Empire soldier before she disappears to the crowd. Give me some gold. He tips the sack of gold towards you. The goblin's face crinkles sadly. Take it. Whoa! Whoa! As you grab hold of Saki blows his own opening and portal at your feet. Next time you want to read Goblin Town, consider using a more conventional entrance. It gives you a half-hearted way. Thank you! The Goblin's sitting room fades from view and you find yourself back in the forest. That's how you unlock tokens. As the threat from the hidden group of northerners increased, all the Imperial Garrison doubles their efforts to find them. Wait, do I have the right? Okay, I have the right. 
We are observing a patrol conducting their investigations when suddenly the brutal band appears. In a flash, the Imperial soldiers are cut down before you can reach them. The Northern warriors flee down a nearby sewer gate before you close behind. Loki Skull Thief was a great clan leader and determined to avenge the death of friends and family. Berserker weapons are imbued with eyes that slows their enemies' movement and attacks. I hope this works. Isn't my blade the same? Oh, I need to do 13 attack. Oh, eh? Nope. You don't. I was waiting for him to get tangled. Nope, you don't. Back over there. Finish him. Okay. Where is he? Oh my god. The scrubs the empire will fall yet. Lucky once as his life leaves him, you return to the surface to report your successor to the local captain of the guards. The bard sings of your deeds. Hmm. The time has come for you and the map maker to part company. He pieces together all of the rough sketches he has taken during the time together. That will be satisfactory, he concludes after some time. He offers you payment and leaves to, to complete his work. He reached the appointed place to pay the gold ransom for the return of Valeria tear sheet. A parrot calls down from the window of a room tower. Well, he, simply, he says simply, did you bring the gold? That will suffice. suffice. The young woman is lowered down to your rope to lead her to safety. I see you have begun to appreciate <laughs> the finer points of our game. Oh, yeah. Now turn to the capital in search of more adventure. This is where I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'll see you again in the endless. Now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon!